everybody. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Judith Taby, and if you're returning, welcome back. Today, we're going to do a pick a pile reading, and the topic that came out is what is currently leveling up in my life, and how will it show up for me? So, let's get our three cards selected for the piles. What is currently leveling up in my life and how will it show up for me? Can we have a card for pile one viewers, please? two viewers please what is currently leveling up in their life and how will it show up for them pile two viewer okay. and then one for pile three viewers what is currently leveling up in their life and how will it show up for them pile three viewers Instead of crystals today, we're going to do keys. So pile one viewers, this is your key. Pile two viewers, this is your key. And pile three viewers, this is your key. So take a moment, see which card you're drawn to. And we'll get started. Okay, pile one viewers, you selected the skeleton key. Let's get the rest of your cards. Thank you, spirit, guides, angels. What is currently leveling up in pile one's viewers' life, and how will it show up for them? is currently leveling up in their life and how will it show up for them? One viewers, what is currently leveling in your life and how will it show up for you? Well, pile one viewers, all I could say is so far, <laughs> all these decks, so many cards keep wanting to fall out. I can't even shuffle it properly. So it's a lot of energy here. A lot of energy. And, and my phone had just beeped and confirmed. So, that prompts me to tell you, Pile 1 viewers, that no matter what cards come out today and your message that you receive, that you need to, like, dig a little deeper, do some more research on your own, because um, there's still more mess, like, a lot of information needs to, oh, here you got two cards, okay. Okay, now let's get your tarot. I have one viewers what is currently leveling up in your life and how will it show up for me? I'm gonna get two of each unless they tell me otherwise, and here we've got three. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 
Okay. I'm going to take all of these. So how many do we have so far? We've got... Uh, one viewers, what is currently leveling up in your life and how will it show up for them? Okay, so first we have you, who show the way. Let's move this over here. You, who show the way, number 33. We have freedom, moving on and letting go, number four. We have number five, Wisdom of the Magi, Mental Clarity. We have Uranus, Change, number 25. Live life to the fullest. Cornucopia, number 11. Powerful Move, number 15. Spyglass, zoom in and take a closer look. Okay, and then we have the magician. That's very interesting how it's right under the magi. You have the world, the four of swords in reverse, the six of wands, the ace of cups, the Eight of Swords, the Six of Cups, Six of Wands and Six of Cups, Four of Swords. All right, let me see, I'm sorry. Let's move this up so we can see all of them. Six of Cups again, and the Nine of Wands. All right, so you've got repeats here. Okay. So let's start with You Who Show the Way. This is from the Rumi deck. Um, it's interesting because, let me make sure this is in focus for you, it sort of looks like a lighthouse amongst the rough ocean waves, but the light is beaming up, not out, but it just, to me at first I thought it was a person, but it, I also see a tower. And lighthouse. All right, so let's read what this says. Number 33. The logical mind runs away from drowning. Lovers accept drowning. And the word is accept, not accept, meaning A C C E P T. Accept. They accept drowning in the sea as their destiny. The logical mind finds consolation in reaching a level of comfort in life. Lovers are focused beyond their own comfort. I have looked to you in my darkest moments, searched for you as though fumbling for the candle and matches during an unexpected and unintermittable blackout. I am the ship at sea, seeking you as my guiding light. Nay, I am the sea rising up to the horizon because I yearn to be closer to you. Then, oh, to my greatest relief, you rise like a phoenix from the ocean, casting hallowed golden light all around you. This great blazing angel of holy fire 
In a sweet instant, my soul rests in your presence. The sea becomes calm. I know oh, and the darkness abates. Your light reveals truth, and through your living presence, I know my true self again. I am what you are. Even when it appears I am returning after being lost in darkness, as though I could never, could ever be extinguished, I am divine light. I am you, a living sun. So this says, even in your unquenchable passion for service to humanity, to the world that offers you so much, there is a time when your most powerful offering is actually and most simply that of your presence. You show the way. You who inspire through how you choose to live and be. You who sometimes think yourself to be invisible. You who consider yourself to be of no particular or exceptional worth. Yes, you. You who through your choice to live your truth, reveal my face, demonstrate my love, embody my presence, heal my beloveds, and love my creations. This oracle comes to you with a special message. You are an inspiration. You are helping those around you and even many of whom you are unaware. You are doing this because this is your path. This is your way. This is your gift to live a life dedicated to the growth of consciousness. And through that dedication, inspire others to receive the loving consciousness of the great beloved that can benefit them so greatly, no matter what their situation or circumstances. You are not doing this through any effort or will. You are doing this because this is your nature, your being, your way. Just as the sun breaks through the darkness with its own light, shining light with its presence by simply being, so too does your inner sun, your soul. You don't have to understand this or do anything with the information given. Although you may find it of comfort or even be shocked by it, pleasantly perhaps, it is just an acknowledgement of who and what you are, given freely because you are ready to receive such an acknowledgement. You are also being gifted through this oracle with a sign, a portent. This oracle is an omen, an issue too difficult for you to understand. No matter how hard you've been working on it, it is about to be resolved. You have no need to hold on to it or become more worthy of that resolution. I'm going to stop for a second. Moving on, letting go. So whatever you've been really working hard on, just let it go. It is going to happen according to the grace of the great beloved and your job is to allow it to happen, to simply bear witness to the resolution. Even if you have no idea what is going on in the process, you may find that whilst you are letting go, the resolution happens without you being aware of it until after the fact. Then apparently all of a sudden what was an issue is no longer so. You who help others are a worthy recipient of the help of the great beloved. Be prepared to surrender all plans and convictions about what can and cannot be, about what you think you know and what you think you need. Allow the benevolent grace of the beloved to take your you through the great waves as the seas become calm and serene under the living divine light. This oracle brings the message that if you have a situation in your midst that feels impossible to resolve, the divine has it covered. Do the sacred honoring ritual and let it be sorted out by a power greater than your own. It shall be sorted out and your sun shall rise just as the day follows night again and again, so too shall your sun rise after any issue or struggle. Have faith and hope, and know that this is a sensible approach to any dilemma, no matter how serious it may seem. For what it is, for what use, okay, for what use is it to bemoan the absence of day, even on the longest night when you know in every moment dawn is ever closer to breaking once again? Your hope then is not foolish, but wise. So the change card, Uranus, um, Uranus, everyone pronounces it differently. It's like 
the cards are sh showing me that you're oh in trying to control every step of and trying to resolve a situation um and this mental clarity in the magician like you're you're truly focusing in on on how you know things are and what you can do to resolve it but the change that needs to take place is letting go don't don't look into your your uh, your alchemist um power to to do this change it's going to come so this live life to the fullest rather than focusing in like the spy glass zoom in take a closer look you don't need to do that that so the the most powerful move and i love this um card because like here's the key going into the lock and it's a chess piece the most powerful move the key to to this resolution that's going to open that birdcage and set you free is to not focus on all this but look what's around you living life to the fullest by you keep focusing in on and look and i'm just gonna say like looking in your crystal ball taking that closer look zooming in has kept you isolated has kept you in this little nest ra rather than see what's interesting is the universe is telling you to get up stand up go out into the world embrace all that is out there rather than being in this own in your own little cocoon nest and and your actions of constantly trying to alchemize or look zooming in and taking a closer look like rather than looking down look up go out into the world and live that's going to be the key some whatever is going to be leveling up in your life is going to happen automatically so that's how it's going to show up for you not by you doing the work, but just by letting go and allowing it to happen. This cornucopia it represents abundance. The, the harvest is there, the abundance there, and it's coming from source, not from you doing the work. Six of Wands speaks of, you know, victory. And the letter or news that's coming is this message for you that the change you need to make is go out and live life to the fullest. That will be your most powerful move because universe is the helping hand. You can be secure in knowing that. You've been very frustrated because you haven't been seeing you, you feel like you haven't manifested or seen what it is that you're trying to resolve. Okay. So the sacred honoring ritual that you need to do, so you can follow along with me right now, is place your hands on your heart. And then repeat after me. The divine who loves me unconditionally blesses me now with such grace that my life aligns with divine order and all becomes golden, blessed, and mercifully held in the compassionate consciousness of the Creator. I thank you for the courage and faith I have needed to endure the night 
And now I celebrate the coming dawn. I see it breaking. I see its light. And I thank you for this mercy. With Rumi, who loves me unconditionally, I am now shown the way to the dawn. It is at my feet. And together we step into the gift of a new day. So be it. If you have a specific issue you would like addressed, hand it over to the Divine Beloved now by talking about it, just as if you were having a conversation with your oldest and dearest friend, for that is exactly what will be taking place. Then when you have explained your feelings, you, your doubts or fears, let it go and know that the situation is held in the grace of the Great Beloved. You have completed your sacred honoring ritual. So take a moment and pause this video now and do that for yourself. Okay, so the last of the cards, we have the Six of Cups, a happy house, the Four of Swords, needing to take time out, rest and relaxing. All right, so rather than focusing on how to get this uh, situation in your life, by letting it go, there's the, so that ritual spoke of the dawn here's the sun rising it's coming up and that will be your freedom and again you have six of cups again twice here and what's really standing out to me is all these cups have all these flowers growing so that cornucopia this abundance and harvest is going to grow from each cup and even in this card, the cups all have flowers in them. So you, you will truly, your leveling up in your life will be multiple areas of blossoming and flowering. This nine of wands, why is this here? Can I get some clarification on the nine of wands? Why is this showing up here? Very defensive. I want viewers, please clarify for them this Nine of Wands card. Alright, so the Two of Coins in reverse, scattered, planning and execution. So You've been so solidly standing stubbornness is what just jumped into my brain here um, with your plan. You know, like you, you've been so set on what your planning and execution is that that's what's actually preventing, you're blocking it from happening. So whatever this is that is going to be leveling up in your life, the only way it's going to show up is if you stand down. That's the change that you have to make. Okay. That is what I have for you, Pile 1 viewers. I hope this helped. If it did, please click the like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. All the information on the decks I've used and how you can contact me for a personal reading or, and, and or how you can support the channel is in the description box below. I look forward to connecting with you next time. Love and light. Hey, Pile 2 viewers, you selected this key. 
Let's get the rest of your cards here. The Pile 2 viewers, what is currently leveling up in their life and how will it show up for them? Pile 2 viewers, what is currently leveling up in their life and how will it show up for them? We have one card please for Pile 2 viewers. is currently leveling up in their life and how will it show up for them? So I'm going to just quickly show this card because it, it came out in the first pile too. A powerful move and there's the key to unlocking this. So there's definitely a powerful move happening with everybody. So if you were drawn to pile one, you might want to go listen to that as well. Okay. Pile two viewers. What is currently leveling up in their life? And how will it show up for them? No, we don't want that many. Now the one on top. To viewers, what is currently leveling up in their life, and how will it show up for them? Two viewers. Okay, that's quick. Thank you. Okay, really quick too. And then your tarot. Final two viewers. What is currently leveling up in your life? show up for you. Love how I say, okay, I'm going to get two cards from each deck and then three or five fall out. And I have to go by what universe says, not what I say. What is currently leveling up in your life? And how will it show up for you? Okay. Alright, so let's see what we got here. I surge on the uprising wave of love, number five. We have pufferfish, know your limits and boundaries. Divine matrix, number 44. 
speak up. Sagittarius with expand. Angels of the seven chakras, power, truth, connection, number 35. This was number nine. And then we have seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel, number 41. So that's interesting. We've had two chakra cards come out. Okay. And we have the Four of Swords, the King of Swords, the High Priestess, the Empress. Wow. The Page of Wands. The Strength card. The Seven of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, the Page of Cups in Reverse, and the Two of Swords. Alright. So, number five, I surge on the uprising way of love. It says, my life can be summed up in three accounts. I was raw. I was cooked and I was burned. I surge on the uprising way of love. No gravity can stop me from rising. The moon pulls the tide of life towards her and my soul in oneness with all of life answers her call. A wave of love consumes me and upwards I fly, flying through water to greet her shining body. Led by my heart, my wits are addled and my mind becomes a blurry mess. And I see, I so feel instead, feel the truth of her love and the divine reflection she shines back at me from her radiant heart. So it says, greater forces of planetary movements affect us all. We experience day and night through the interplay of the earth, sun, and moon. This is a profound and obvious effect. The movements of the cosmos affect us deeply, body and soul. Some movements are perhaps less obvious in form, but are just as great, if not more so, in effect upon our spiritual growth and life experiences. You are going through a cycle, or very soon will be, by which you will be moved by forces greater than your own personal will. This is a karmic period a time during which the movements of greater planetary bodies will have an impact upon the earth and humanity. This is the way of things, greater cycles affecting smaller ones. The smaller ones are not less important, but they do have to bow to the power of the great, in oneness with the magnificent unfolding divinity that is life itself. What we have at our disposal is choice as to how we respond to these affecting movements and cycles. The effect of this karmic cycle now unfolding in your life is to bring you into sweet surrender and awakening into greater love. What a delicious divine destiny. However, even if we sense at one level that a shift has a positive end in store for us, we can encounter resistance and fear, born of the ego, in response to the stirring of spiritual uprising. We may quake in our holy body and wonder if everything is getting out of control and into some disorder. We will be right in our sense of imminent chaos. The disorder, however, is the ego perspective because its range of vision is too small, too limited, to comprehend the greater workings of the planetary systems that move life towards love. That is as it should be. The teacup is not made to hold the ocean, just actually a cup of tea. But if we begin to imagine that the cup of tea is preferable to the ocean, simply because it is more containable, how much we miss out on. And how terrifying when we are actually thrown into the ocean and moved by it. Its sheer power, its wild force, and its passionate dance with the moon mother might have us fearing that we most certainly will die. Yet the only thing that is dying here and now is your grasp, your attempts at control. Why? 
because your heart is more powerful than your fear and it wants to live in total trusting surrender of the unfoldment of life's genius. It wants to let life happen to it. What a wise intention that is. Why seek to impose a smaller and less interesting story upon life when the great master storyteller is weaving a fantastic tale of great love, great adventure, and sublime spiritual success? No. It is wiser, wilder, and more fun to surf the great wave of consciousness seeking to overtake you now. Dive in, beloved. Surge with it. You are being given a gift of grace in this oracle, the promise that you won't drown and that you will, in fact, be given a glimpse of your own divinity should you choose to accept whatever will be offered to you. Don't try to swim against the tide of your own life journey. Go with it. The divine is there waiting for you, orchestrating waves upon which you may reach the heavenly shore. Yes, the divine is there waiting for you, waiting on a picnic blanket of fabric from the heavens with a sacred feast of earthly bounty just now being unpacked in your honor. Get yourself into that ocean and ride those waves to your sacred date with the divine right now, sweet beloved. Surf's up. This oracle comes with a message for you. There are changes happening and they will be out of your control. This is because you are ready for accelerated life change. Rather than paddling, you'll be caught up in a wave and moved farther, faster. Let yourself surge on with the energy of what is happening, leading your heart and just going with whatever unfolds. This will bring you the best fortune and open you up to the divine destiny that is your birthright this lifetime. So, what is currently leveling up in your life and how it will show up for you is clearly the divine matrix. Like, you've got, you've just got to let go and let God is what I'm hearing. Um, that that expansion that has to take place. Um, don't, don't get caught up in puffer fish energy. Like this puffer fish is puffed up right now, which it sets up when it puffs up like that, it's establishing its boundaries and, um, being fearful and putting that like protective shield around it. But, God is telling you, like, don't put up your defenses. Don't set these boundaries for yourself. Just trust in, okay, this is how they, they, this is how they want me to word it for you. So you see how this puffer fish has this, it's like within a circle here. It's like within a bubble. Can you see that? There's like a bubble here around. Put yourself within the divine, divine's bubble. And just let, and now they're showing me the puffer fish just floating through the, the this ocean, right? So just, rather than be fearful and puff up, expand, expand yourself, but not in defensiveness. Use, with your Sagittarian energy, expand yourself within this bubble of the divine. Trust and allow you to float through whatever this ocean is that they're that you're, they're gonna be sending you through. So there is a sacred honoring ritual. So place your hands on your heart and repeat after me. The grace of life touches my heart, and I am courageous. I surge, I rise, I meet the divine beloved in every twist and turn. I journey home on the wave of love. And I graciously accept 
the hand of my divine beloved, guiding me now through love, mercy, and grace. So be it. Close your eyes and focus on your heart. If you wish, you may like to intend to connect to a feeling of love for your heart. Wise guide that it is. When you feel you are done, you have completed your honoring ritual. I do have a green aventurine Merkaba here for you to help focus on your heart chakra. Sorry, it's not coming into focus. There we go. Let the energy of this open and heal your heart chakra. You can pause the video for a minute and stay in that energy. Okay, so I do want to show you this card. The Angels of the Seven Chakras. So if you're not familiar with the chakras, there's a lot more than seven, but the main seven that people work on is the Root Chakra, the Sacral Chakra, the Solar Plexus Chakra, the Heart Chakra, the Throat Chakra, the third eye chakra and the crown chakra. I will put in the in the description box below a link to my other videos. I did a whole spiritual story time series, introduction to chakras. Um, they're great for you and for children. I'll put that link to, to the first one that starts you on that series. Um, but this card speaks of power, truth, and connection. And when the card comes in the upright position, it uh, speaks of the upper four chakras. Archangel Uriel, which is interesting because that's the next card that came out. So this is the one I'm going to read to you. Um, Ur Uriel is the seventh or the crown chakra. It, she brings greater connection with spirit. If you're working on mediumship or developing your intuition, tune into this powerful force so um in my series of the chakras i start with the root and end with the the crown so if you want to i would appreciate it if you go through the whole series but what's focusing for you right now is that crown chakra the seventh chakra the beautiful angel uriel also called the fire of god wears a brilliant crystal crown vibrating with a passionate connection to the divine. She brings great power to your seventh energy center, which is called the crown chakra, and that's located at the top of your head. This card in the upright indicates an open and free-flowing channel of information and inspiration from the wonderful beings in the spirit world. This could also be a time of great intuition for you, and guidance from your higher awareness so allow yourself to quiet your mind and listen so as i said this whole card spoke of you know just trusting god um letting the divine expand and carry you through your next phases here what what whatever however your leveling up is Connect, open your heart chakra, but connect with your crown chakra because you do have the high priestess here. You're very powerful. And what's interesting too is like she's got this crown, on, very intuitive. You know, she, the high priestess knows secrets. And the Empress card speaks of, um, again, she's wearing a crown too. Delays will prove necessary. It 
So this spoke of a great love, right? This uprising wave of love. So I feel that you def you need to connect with Archangel Uriel and connect more with your intuition and trusting that God will take you in this expansive journey. Because here, remember I said just sit in that bubble here, let God carry you. So here you are in this little bubble and there's your like there's the heart so love i feel like you can rest easy meditate peacefully knowing that what whatever this love that's supposed to come into your life is it's there with you it's protected it's secure divinely protected and secured So, and the other cards, like, once someone needs to speak up, and whether that's you or whoever's coming into your life, because we have the King of Swords here, and I, there, there's an owl and an owl represents wisdom and knowledge. And a crow care is a messenger, carries messages. So whoever this mature masculine that's coming into your life to give you guidance and information, allow them to speak up. Don't don't close them off. Don't don't get into puffer fish mode. Oh, here, like they're gonna speak up and allow them to speak up. Because your intuition will, and you'll, your knowing will, you'll know. Now the Page of Wands says, young woman to 25 years, travel over land. And then there's the pyramids. So traveling, I feel like, This journey that you're going through in this ocean of love will will be long. Because remember, it says delays will prove necessary. So it's not going to be a quick journey. It will take time as if you were literally traveling the oceans to get to the pyramids. To Even though the pyramids are not near the ocean. But there's, it's going to take time. But the strength card tells me that you you have the truth, the power to do this. You've got the connection. You've got to open up that crown chakra and work with Archangel Uriel. That's why the Seven of Pentacles are here. You've, you've got to, you know, you're, the seeds are being planted and you've got to work on it, and, um, nurture it, right? Let God carry you through this. Because the Six of Wands, which speaks of victory, in this card, it's a wedding. Usually the Six of Wands is vic uh, a man on a horse with a, a wreath, a victory wreath, after a battle or a war. But this Six of Wands in this deck, it's a wedding. So I definitely, and I, these are not love readings, but clearly, pile two viewers, what is currently leveling up in your life is going to be love but the only way is allowing God to carry you and be open to what is being said to you and shown to you I feel like don't don't I guess whatever immature offer has been given to you in the past you've blocked it off like you're not like see how your the ocean's behind you and you've got your swords up and you're blindfolded you're not even willing to step into that ocean and that's why you these love offerings haven't come to you you've got to trust the divine and let allow 
God to carry you and expand you through truth. Because truth will be shown to you. Truth will be spoken to you. But I'm also hearing you need to speak up and say exactly what it is that you want. You need to speak up of what it is. Okay. While you're okay, while you're connecting with Archangel Uriel, while take this time to really think about what it is you truly want in in a person, in your partner, in in who your beloved is. Core, not oh, I want like long hair or shaved head or a mustache or beard. Not that stuff. The important stuff. You know, do you want a chivalrous person? Do you want um, someone who is has integrity and valor? Like, what are your core, true things that you want in a man or a woman? Um, let me, whoever your person is, take that time to really connect with your heart. What is your heart's desires? And then. When you're connecting with Archangel Uriel, speak up. List, write it down on a piece of paper. Put it under your pillow. And be, when you go to bed, say, Archangel Uriel, I have made my list of what it is I require from my person. And help me. And trust the process. This, this planting the seeds and watching it grow and harvest it's going to be you working with the divine. You allowing the divine to carry you and expand you so you come into your empress energy. So that's the first step. I want me to put that right here. You've got to trust your intuition, be in your high priestess energy, connecting with your higher chakras and angel Archangel Uriel. But yeah, there's a wedding here. So I love love readings. And I usually, that's not usually my purpose, but I'm so excited today for, for you, Pile 2 viewers. Um, please comment in the below when things start happening. Let me know. Keep me posted. Um, and I look forward to uh, connecting with you again. I hope this helped. If it did, please click the like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. I think it's over here at the end of the video. Just click on that. Um, and I look forward to next time. Love and light. Hey, Pile 3 viewers, you selected this key. Alright, let's get the rest of your cards. Pile 3 viewers, what is currently leveling up in your life and how will it show up for you? Give me one card for Pile 3 viewers, please. One card, please. Okay, that one. Pile three viewers. What is currently leveling up in their life, and how will it show up for them? One card, please, for pile three viewers.
is currently leveling up in your life and how will it show up for you? And one card, please. Is currently leveling up in your life, and how will it show up for you? One card, please, for final three dealers. show up for them. I have three viewers. Okay. Oh, another one flip over and we're gonna see. what is currently leveling up in their life and how will it show up for them. Blessings of Zara, number 39. Hermit Crab, Resourcefulness, Adaptability. Shining Through, number 30. Angel of Strength. Correct your mistakes. We have Taurus. Cultivate. And we also have Saturn. Structure. Divine Presence. The Force of Love and Creation. And we have the Two of Wands. Queen of Pentacles, the Six of Cups in reverse, the King of Cups, and the King of Pentacles. Wow, lots of kings. Six of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, the Justice, and the Fool in reverse. Okay, let's do some rearranging here. Okay. All right, so the blessings of Zara. Let go of thought. Don't take it to, into your heart. You are naked and thought is like ice. You use thought to seek Release from suffering and pain, while thought is the cause of your suffering and pain. 
The realm of creation is outside the scope of thought. O foolish one, see the opus and behold the beauty. Look in the direction from which the images flow. See the brook that causes the wheel to turn. Rumi. I wish to pull that false confection from your mouth. Oh, I know you will open your mouth even wider to scream like the terrible cry of a toddler denied. But the moment you open your mouth wide and draw breath to bemoan the outrageous travesty of your loss, I shall shove my divine finger, dripping with nectar, into your gaping mouth. I'll let you suckle then, surprised and contented by the sweetness that surpasses all other sweets. It says, when we are hungry, we reach for what food is available. If we are starving, we may gorge upon what is before us only to find ourselves overfed, undernourished, and in a most uncomfortable and dissatisfied state. Your soul needs better quality food. It has been detoxing. You've been shedding old thoughts, feelings, pains, and struggles. Memories of the past have been flooding out of your soul like parasites being expunged. And now, your soul, thus cleansed, is in need of genuine nourishment to restore it to full radiance and vitality. Love will feed your hungry soul. Nothing less shall suffice. No sweet-talking charmer hell-bent on seducing and moving on will make the grade. No, it has to be nothing less than genuine romancing by the great beloved to feed, comfort, and nurse you into radiance. Only that divine finger dipped in the heavenly honey can be taken in by your soul now. All else will seem as empty junk by comparison. But can we summon the strength to overcome habitual and mindless attempts at feeding on lesser substances? Oh yes. The great beloved shall storm through the kitchen and with military precision clear out the cupboards for only the best and finest most decadent and delicious shall do for you. This oracle comes from special guidance with special guidance for you. You are being given a blessing of Zara, of radiance, of brightness. This blessing has a purpose. It is to clear out that which would obstruct your full unfoldment to support the divine jewel of your soul in shining. You are, be given, you are being given an opportunity supported by life by the earth, by the grace of the divine beloved, to shed toxins from your being. These may be physical and they may equally be of emotional, psychic, or psychological origin. They may come from this or another lifetime. You may understand consciously what is being released or you may not. If you are sensitive, you may feel symptoms of detoxification at a physical level even if what you are releasing is emotional or psychological in nature. You are encouraged to complete the sacred honoring ritual to stay adequately hydrated and to be moderate rather than excessive in your approach. Give your body and mind time to rest and replenish so that blessing can be fully received. If you've been unwell or struggling to let go of an issue, this oracle comes as a portent of imminent healing back to good health and of release of the issue into resolution and divine radiance. It is only a matter of timing, and that timing is imminent. This oracle also brings you the message that if something appears to be leaving your life, even something painful to release, it is because it is no longer healthy for you or no longer supporting of life for you. There is something more loving and beautiful awaiting. Do not try to feast up scraps upon scraps. Stop scraping in the dirt from stale breadcrumbs. Rise up and move towards the seat at the heavenly table gleaming before you, for a greater feast awaits your attendance. So the sacred honoring ritual Say aloud, so repeat after me. I call upon Al-Zara, 
the merciful divine one, shining with grace. And Rumi, who loves me without condition, I call upon the healing angels and I say the following declaration. With grace I accept the shedding of that which is no longer worthy of me. I allow myself to release with merciful grace what no longer feeds my soul with the truest of nourishment. I open to receive through unconditional love, healing, support, intervention, and protection, that I may, that I may shine with the divine radiance bestowed upon me in this blessing. I surrender my attachment to scraps and open my mind, body, and soul to the great feast. In profound gratitude, I bow to the compassion that leads me to the banquet of love now. So be it. Lie down and rest for however long you need. Healing will happen during this time. So try to rest for at least five to 25 minutes or more if possible. So pause the video. Following your rest, you may also like to have a shower or bath using a handful of regular salt as a gentle body scrub to support your psychic and physical cleansing process. Enjoy this as an act of self-love. You have finished your sacred honoring ritual. So I'd say, uh, after, if you want to continue watching your reading, you'll get the whole message. And then later today, or I don't know what time you're watching this morning, noon or night, but um, take a sacred salt shower or bath. And you should do this always um, as part of your shower routine, especially if you encounter people all the time. You don't know what energies have attached to you and you want to release that. Okay, so it did speak of shining through and the angel of strength. So these blessings um, correct your mistakes, meaning no longer feasting on that. They're showing me like how, uh, you know, the bottom feeders of the ocean, like you, you no longer want to take the scraps and pieces. You want to uh, step into your uh, strength, the force of love and creation, the divine presence. You stand at the water's edge, ready to take this journey. Let's see, we have cultivate and structure. Okay, so the Taurus is known for really 
being set stubborn set in their ways um and the cultivate to me means you know like really cult cultivating the earth getting plowing uh settling in to get all everything seeded and rooted and grounded um and saturn speaks of structure so it's asking you to step into the next level of maturity and personal authority think of saturn as a martial arts master who pushes you to grow through workouts discipline and tests that allow you to prove what you know both to yourself and others look for a mentor or choose to mentor another honor the teacher but don't give your power away so this blessing of no longer feasting on scraps but being offered a table at a seat at the table sh shining through the force of love and creation the divine that's within you restructure yourself don't that's how you're gonna um correct your mistakes from feasting on the wrong thing previously standing in your strength in your divineness your holiness um you could see like by starting this journey you will be in your queen of pentacles energy and your queen of wands energy and i feel like because of this six of pentacles that's you dispersing the coins out you when you take a seat at that table that gives you the power to share and spread what you know so it's gonna it's gonna take a minute for you to be adaptable they're showing me um the hermit crab you're changing shells you're going from what this little shell was that you've put yourself in on the scraps to the big conch conch right it's called a conch shell that large beautiful shell um in fact i want you to get that so hold on a second okay sorry about that so this is has been where you've housed yourself in this little it's beautiful but this little shell this is where you've housed yourself feeding on the scraps right and the and the food that's not been nourishing you but the hermit crab is saying resourcefulness and adaptability you need to correct your mistakes stand in your strength of who you truly are your shining divine self and by doing that and taking this journey coming into your queen of pentacles energy your queen of wands energy cultivating who you truly are not allowing scraps anymore placing this structure in your life you will then come into this god is telling you no longer is this your world this is your home now do you see that that like i'm getting chills the this is what you are worthy of not this don't limit yourself to this little home this is where you belong so the six of cups in reverse I feel like you've got as it said in not just this lifetime but in previous lifetimes all the each of those things that have limited you has prevented you from getting to this I'm gonna leave this right here has prevented you from getting here But mature, 
the King of Cups and the King of Pentacles. It's mature energy, right? That's emotions are balanced and healed. Um, abundance and knowledge is healed. Where it said that you sitting at that table eating, being nourished, that's when justice will be served. It will clear out any wrongdoings, any things that need that you need to release and shed. Justice will prevail. But you have just the full cards in reverse, which is mean you haven't taken that leap of faith. You haven't jumped yet. And that's what's required for you pile three viewers. You, you, it's within you to do this. I mean, look at the light that's coming from within this flower. It's inside you this whole time. You've just forgotten. Like it said, some of you know, some of you don't. Um, but it's definitely carried through from previous lifetimes. And the only way things will balance out is if you start nourishing your soul, recognizing who you are. Oh. No more bread. I feel like bread, like they're showing me now breadcrumbing. Whoever's been breadcrumbing you in the past, that no longer. That's no longer your game. You, no. What's interesting is you've got the, both the king and queen of pentacles here. Queen of wands and the king of cups. So you ha are just emotionally, uh, passionately, and I'm going to say financially. We'll all be balanced within you. You're, you're, you're there. But you've got to take that leap. Got to start that journey. And that's how, by correcting your mistakes, you'll get from, from here to here. That's what I have for you, Pile 3 viewers. I hope that helped. If it did, please click the like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. I think it'll be over here at the end of the video. Uh, be sure to take that salt shower or bath. And stay in that divine light energy that's within you. Love and light.